A new Homelessness Act seeks to lower drug-related crimes within designated homeless service zones. Reporter Eduardo Morales shares how some local politicians feel about the bill. The Arizona Homeless Protection and Drug Control Act has been introduced by Arizona State Representative Matt Griss, and it's receiving some mixed reviews. In my opinion, uh, it doesn't deal with the root of the problem. It deals with some of the symptoms of the problem, which are more evident in bigger cities, but it doesn't do much to solve the, the problem that underlies everything. The bill would also allow for money to be used for temporary emergency shelter, along with banning the use of state funds for rent hotel rooms. It will focus on illegal activities related to dangerous drugs and homeless service zones. Representative Tim Dunn shares how this could affect some local Yuma establishments who help homeless people deal with drug addiction. The facility would not be condoning uh, drug dealers in their facilities and around their property. They would make sure that they have a safe space so that they're not, uh, as they're trying to, some of those are going through drug interdiction programs and they're not required, you know, they wouldn't have to be put up with that, uh, that, that pressure. However, the CEO of Crossroads Mission is not totally on board with the proposed new bill. As I see it right now, I don't know how effective it would be and it might be hard to control also. So I, for now, I would say no. The bill will be heard by the committee by the end of the month. Reporting in Yuma, Eduardo Morales, 13 on your side.